Folium is the world's first community designed to make it easy for everyday people to get involved in blockchain mining while drawing power from a hybrid of green energy sources. Get involved today at folium.io. What's going on, Cryptocurrency Universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. Well, we finally got the new facility up and running, as you can see, and we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on it, how everything works, and how we designed it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here's the inside of the warehouse. What we did was we rented a flex space. Basically, what that means is you have an office inside of that location there. It's usually heated and cooled and then you usually will have some garage doors going into a large warehouse area. This way we could build an inside structure. What you see on top is the AC system. We installed the 10 ton of mana AC system and I'll show you the condenser outside. Technically, if you do the math, it probably would have required a much larger AC system, um, maybe even a 30 ton to cool this, but the way we're cycling the air, we're exhausting a lot of the heat and cooling, uh, pulling some of it back with the AC system and cooling it. That way we can maintain about an 80 degree temperature within the inside of the server room. And there's lots of neat little tricks we're doing to be very economical and doing so. As you can see in the background, you might see a fan flap over there in the right hand corner. You see the air filter grills coming in. So let's walk you into the server room now. Give you a quick look at what that. All right guys, we're inside the server room now. This server room is designed to hold 85 GPU units. Our biggest limitation is not space, as you can see. It is the power that these units use. Uh, the unit, this facility came with 200 amps. We've upgraded it to 400 amps, which I'll take you outside and show you here in a second. But while we're in the server room, I want to go ahead and give you a good view of everything. These are the fire extinguishers. We also have a CO2 extinguisher over here as well. thermostat shows you 72 degrees in here it's probably about 40 degrees outside uh, the way the system works it, it may pretty much helps maintain a pretty idle temperature we've got an extra fire extinguisher over there this facility is completely inspected by the local municipalities the fire marshals completely designed we've got a lot of work in uh, wiring maintenance over here as you guys can see but we'll get to it it's been a lot a lot of work trying to get this whole facility up and running. Went ahead and got a big screen in here so we can do a little bit of maintenance. This is our air filters walls coming in. And over there, got four more of them. We got the old rig over there, the 13 miner. Um, that guy, we switched it down to running eight cards. I had trouble with the dual uh, graphics cards. So I went ahead and just put it down in the eight. I didn't have much time to in the server room and in the hot room, which controls these fans. And it allows them to switch between blowing the hot air out and blowing the hot air in here. So about 70% of the air is getting cycled uh, through the warehouse. And the other 30% is getting cycled through the AC system. The AC system obviously is not running right now in the winter time. We only probably run it about three months out of the year, maybe four months out of the year. Uh, if there's a humidity issue, it will automatically kick in based on the programming. This is how we get air into the facility. So air comes into that port. It's a special design louver. So if it's even raining outside, even with the high air velocity, I can stand here and feel the air uh, full, flowing right here in front of me. And we won't get any water coming in. So it's a special design louver with the drain vents on it. And this is the power. We added three of these power breaker boxes. There was only 200 amps here. We upgraded it to 400 amps so we can get a maximum of 85 miners. This is our internet hub. The router we chose for the facility uh, along with the uh, modem that we have. Place to wash up. A little refrigerator. A hot water heater for the office over there. And let's take you up the steps. So these are the fans up top. You can see 
how we're pulling the air into the AC system and we're cycling about 30% of it. So it's dry hot air, uh, which helps heat the, uh, the server room itself or heat the warehouse. This is what the hot side looks like. As you can see, the two tier walls with the fans blowing into the warehouse here. There are two fans blowing in um, that match the two fans blowing out. There's one 30 inch and one 24 inch. Those fans are meant to go in sync. When the uh, air in here gets, or the warehouse gets too cold, uh, it's actually set about 50 degrees, these fans will automatically turn off and turn these fans on. This one, not the one in the middle, but the one over there, and warm the warehouse. When the warehouse reaches an uh, optimal temperature, it will automatically switch back to exhausting the heat using these fans. The one in the center is so that we can balance our air load uh, based on how many computers we have in here or how hot or cold it is outside. This allows us to either run a constant heat into the warehouse or just turn it off in summertime. And it helps us just balance it so these fans don't have to switch back and forth as often. This is actually an ingenious idea from our engineer, David. Uh, and he's really, really been killing and helping me put this whole facility together and help us design everything. So what you see right there is the AC intake. We're pulling in about 30% of this air back into the AC system, which is either gonna be cooled. At this time, it's not being cooled. It's just being pumped back into the server room for heat. So we're recycling the heat from this facility. So let's go ahead and get out of here and I'll show you how we are controlling these fans. We've designed a box right here, or shall I say the engineer designed a box, uh, which allows it to basically uh, check the temperatures and both sides of these rooms and the warehouse. And depending on the scenario, it will automatically switch the fans to on and off. That allows us to not have to worry about pipes or anything in this warehouse because we're essentially pulling a lot of outside air. 70% of the air we're moving is coming out. If I remember correctly, the 30 inch is about a 7,000 CFM fan. The 24 inch was a 5,000 CFM fan plus the AC systems. Uh, I think we're pulling probably about 40,000 CFMs uh, through this warehouse. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close. This is the variable speed control for that middle fan that I was showing you guys. So that way in the winter time, we can either pump in so much heat here or in the summer, just turn it off entirely. It just helps us balance the system. We'll get you another perspective of the warehouse, what it looks like up top. You can see the fans with the louvered fans and how the air is coming in. Now this facility is very well sealed. So the only air intake port we have is the one in the far back right hand corner I showed you. So all the air we're exhausting has to come in through that. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later on. See you, Crypto Universe.